Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there. I'm Deejin, this is War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, this week's news. Well, I'll touch a little bit on the frontline thing. Uh, there's going to be class matches, Sakura, and I'm going to be pulling 120 plus times um, on the Final Fantasy XIV tickets to try and get more Thanker Shards. Hopefully I can finish them out today. If not, hopefully at least get close. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the frontline stuff. I know we've had this for about a week now or whatever, but uh, in case some of you are out of the loop, we're getting the Imbued Fragments of Thought, which these are so good. These are for lesser rarities um, that are not UR rarities. So finally, we don't have to use um, Rainbow Fragments of Thought. This may not come this week. I'm not exactly sure when this is dropping, but it's nice that it's officially announced. And we're going to be able to save some of our Rainbow Fragments of Thought now and work on some of our MR, SR, Rare, and Normal units. I think that's what the N stands for. And, uh, and yeah, and not have to worry about running out of Rainbow Fragments. So this is a super uh, good thing that we're getting here, and I'm, I couldn't be more excited. I'm going to work on so many other units now. Another thing listed on here I'm really looking forward to is the Specify Faith Limit in the Guild Barracks. So now, if you see here, we're going to be able to set an exact Faith. So those of us that want a lot of units at 50 Faith to use Bells or other TMRs and make it land 100% of the time, you're going to be able to just land it on 50, set it to 50, and you're not going to have to worry about juggling. Bingo, bango, bongo. It's so nice, very convenient. And uh, if you don't see the benefit to this you will definitely at some point and you're gonna love it it's it, this is really good for everybody coming up this week we are going to have class match battles active again uh and let's see so the important stuff to note is it's going to be a cost of 540 or less quick and nullify ct up down nullify and healing power down 50 percent uh other than that you probably know the gist of the class match battles it's the pvp all right, next up, we're going to have some Aleem Unit Shard Reward Quest here. Uh, basically, challenge the Shard Reward Quest and acquire shards for the character. This is the new MR unit that's coming out with Sakura here. Uh, also, job enhancing materials for Sakura and Aleem both, as you can see. Yep. Uh, okay. Here is the weapon here, the Prunus Lamina, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the uh, the weapon that if you go for Sakura, you're going to want to go for this weapon as well, more than likely. It's made for her, It's you can really get high magic on it, uh, magic attack plus, I think you can get light and thunder attack on it as well. It's going to be very good for Sakura, I think it'll probably be a must have if you plan on using her in serious content. So this is going to be something if you're going for Sakura, even if you're not pulling for Sakura necessarily, but you think you might want to get her in the future sometime, you're probably going to want to farm enough to make at least one of these. And then there's going to be some brutal challenges for a lot more of these rainbow rewards, rainbow fragments of thought, gill snappers. The brutal challenges are actually quite challenging sometimes, so be ready for that. The secret book we're getting this week, Staff Katana Dagger. Um, so yeah, that'll be useful. JP up reward quest. Those are always amazing. I feel like I will never argue with this. And we're getting an arena map change. Um, the arena map will be updated to the mountain road. Take me home, mountain road. To I'm just kidding. <laughs> DMCA. Uh, but yeah, so the map will change the next arena reset or whatever probably uh next monday map effect light attack up so of course that is going to benefit sakura quite a bit i'm sure as for the weekly campaigns uh this is the one we'll have for the week it's just going to be some pretty standard stuff here just 500 busy or a day and the other goodies that we get along with it usually now this is it. This is the uh, the banner for Sakura. I think a lot of people have been looking forward to Sakura for quite a while, but I think a lot of people are also going to be skipping Sakura. Uh, for me personally, I will be pulling for Sakura. I'll, I'm sure I'll have a video up of that later in the week, um, probably on the day she comes out. Whether I get it or not, I don't know, because I don't know what, like how far I'll go, but I will at least pull some. Um, and yeah, she's gonna be pretty good. I think she'll be very useful to a lot of people, but I also think since we're like right on the cusp here of waiting for EX jobs, Final Fantasy X, you know, 
double cost Mont and all these other things. A lot of people are going to be skipping her and a lot of other units going forward for a bit until we get some of that other new stuff. But for me personally, because I do pull on a lot of units, I will be also pulling for Sakura. Her main jobs are Sage of Mizidia, Red Mage, and Kododama Wielder. I am probably saying that wrong. I don't know. She does do thunder and light damage, which is very interesting to me. I think that's a cool thing. You know, I think this character, too, will work really well with uh, somebody like Salir. It, uh, maybe not necessarily for, like, PvP stuff, and I know a lot of people really only pull for PvP stuff. But, you know, for things like Tower, there's probably some wombo combo levels where they'll be able to tag team together, along with some other people, like, uh, I don't know, Skahal or somebody, maybe. Anyways, here is Aleem. Aleem is the MR unit, Dragoon Assassin Dual Gunner. And, yeah, you, we saw that there's going to be a, a bunch of shards available for farming for Aleem, so... This could be a good character for people to work on and maybe uh, use some of those new fragments of thought that are not the rainbow ones to build MR units. I don't know if they're coming out this week though, but you know, you could farm the shards for her at least for now and then once those things drop, you know, you can figure it out. I'm seeing a release celebration training challenge mission here. Um, by completing these challenge missions, you'll earn 120 soccer shards. Uh, as well as Rainbow Fragment of Thought, Bingo Prizes. So this looks like it's going to be the Bingo Board, which is going to be very nice for those that do pull Sakura. It's always a great um, pool of shards, and this is one of the reasons why I do want to pull for her. I, I really don't mind going for all those Bingo Board shards. I think they're a great way to, to start building a character, and it doesn't feel as bad. The only downside is you do have to pull for them like on week one, because the Bingo Boards usually only last during the duration of their event. Well, two weeks, I guess, but you know what I mean. You have to pull for them. You can't, like, rely on getting them a couple months down the line and still hope to get those bingo boards. That's just not allowed. All right, and uh, now it's time for the Thancred ticket pulls. I've been wanting to do these all week. Uh, I just haven't because I've been saving them so I could record it or do it on stream either way so I could show everybody because I know people like to... Uh, to watch this. Alright, so the first one I'm only gonna do nine, that way we'll be at an even 120, and then it's just gonna be all ten bangers until the end of time. Oh, we're already off to a good start. Oh, and we're gonna be able, I should have showed you guys how many uh, shards I was up to. I believe I ended the last, this, I haven't pulled on these at all since last week, though I have got a few from Chocobo Expedition, a few shards for Thankard that is. But let's see if, uh, we can see how many I have. All right, so 10, that was a 10 banger there. So that puts me at like, all right, we're at 158. So we started today at 148. Can I go from 148 all the way to 201 sitting? It's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough one. I don't know because we know I was on a bad streak too. If you watched the last weeks, uh, I did go 40 full pulls on this thing without getting a single Thancred shard, so it's very easy that I could go another 40 or 60 pulls or whatever right here. I'm gonna skip the brown books, because I really don't think they're gonna be anything good. Uh, but yeah, y you know what I'm getting at. I could go easily another brown book, another skip. I could easily go another, all right, so we're up to 20 right now with Nada. If I go all 120 right now with none, that's gonna be real sad. All right, we're up to 30 with, 30 with none. A lot of Yashtola there though, wowzers. Um, so that's, 30, I believe I said. So this is going to be 40. Uh, oh, man. All right, 40 with none. So that's almost two 40s in a row. That's almost 80. So in 90 pulls, I only got 10 Thancred shards. If you're including the last batch I did at the end of the last video. Oh, man. There's 50. Today alone, 50 with no Thancred. This isn't looking too good for me, honestly. Is this going to be 60? Yep. Man, I had high hopes going into this, but now not so much. All right, this is, I believe, going to be Thancred Charts, because I think he's the only yellow. So was that 50 or 60? All right, let's watch it. Hopefully it's more than 10, but I'm not going to have too high of hopes here. I've pulled zero actual units where you get the full 40. Okay, 15. All right. So that's better than 10. Man, this is... I'm starting to sweat it out here. We're up to 173. 
with 50 tickets left. Come on, don't do me dirty, man. Brown again. All right. Zero. Although this is a ton of gill snappers and stuff. Oh, man. All right, here we go. We're getting more. So this will put us at minimum at one. Oh, this is the unit. Wait. I think... I think we might be done. Unless that's Yashtola. I'm not sure if you get the Yashtola unit if it's yellow or not, but if that's Thancred... We'll see. Oh, it's Thancred. Yes! Yes! Alright. I was just saying how I haven't pulled the unit at all. The unit's 40 shards, you get that bad boy. Look at that, throws us 13 over. So, I'm done. I did it. Um, well, let's use up the last of these 20 tickets. Now it doesn't matter what I get. Brown book anyways. Um, okay, and... So that was actually looking really bad. I was actually starting to get sweaty. Another brown book. But then, then, the unit came and that capped it off. Thancred. We did it, man. We finally got you without spending any... Viz. Wait, he's a light unit. Let's see. Yes. Oh. Bam. All right. Well, that was very good. I was. I don't know why I was getting like sweat. We still have more tickets for this coming too. Like it's not like that was the end of the line. I'll stop blabbing now because this video has probably been very long. Uh, but I wanted to get as much of that in there as I could, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I stream this game on Twitch all the time. I stream it at, always on patch days, usually. Um, and sometimes a couple other times a week, so if you want to follow my channel. I do stream every day for the most part, just not always this. Um, I've got a Twitter, I've got a Discord. We're actually very active with War of the Visions on Discord, so if you're into just overall talking about War of the Visions, sharing polls of or sharing screenshots of pulls, or, you know, theory crafting with people, or asking for help, or trying to find more friends to add to your friends list, join the Discord. Uh, there's a WOTV channel in there, and we're very active in there, and we're always adding each other. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, and I'm gonna be like, oh, man, I should have said this. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all had lucky Thankard pulls as well. And, uh... Yeah, I'll see you guys for the soccer polls, I guess, because that'll probably be... I, You know, I'm still undefi un undivided, undecided on Leviathan. If I put a video up uh, tomorrow or something, it'll probably be Leviathan polls. Otherwise, the next one will be soccer polls. And yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. And have yourselves an amazing rest of your day, week, morning, afternoon, whatever. And uh, yeah, anyways. See you later.